As you all see this, check out what the Democrats are arguing about in this video. Unbelievable. I think there are a lot of families out there who don't believe boys should play girls' sports. They're not boys. Uh, no, no, I'm no, not no, going to no, listen no, to transphobia no, no, at this table. I am not going to listen to you true. call a trans girl that's, a boy. Are you going to allow me to finish my explanation? When you use a word that's a slur, I'm going to interrupt. That's not how it is. They're not boys. They're not boys. They're not playing girls' softball. I'm not going to sit there and listen to that. Let's reset for a second because, look, this is a really heated issue, right? And, Chair Michael, I know you. I know that you understand that people have different views on this. I think out of respect for Jay, like, let's try to talk about this in a way that is respectful. Okay, so let, let me rephrase this since I'm being targeted here. I, I don't think you're no, not, no, no, just to be okay. clear, you are it's, not being but targeted. But I am, but it's okay. I, I'm specifically it's saying okay. that I know that you are not intending to be transphobic. He should know that but, I'm not. But, he wants but to I want to call you transphobic. I'm saying you you're using I want, a phrase that you I want to give you an know. opportunity So, so the way to, no, regular to people not, interpret it, that's not regular why those people. ads were That's not regular people. There's no consensus that these are actually boys. This whole thing about trans girls is a, is a canard. It's, we're talking about a tiny, tiny sliver of the population. That may be the and case, we're using but, but, that but my point in terms of its effectiveness... Hold on, just get to your point. My point in terms of its effectiveness, regular people with children, look at these things, and they say, you know what, this is a bit too far. I do not agree with this. I don't like this. I think Democrats are going way too much to the left on social issues. They're uncomfortable with it. A lot of people believe that. A lot of families believe that. You may disagree with that reality, but that's why Republicans kept running those ads over and over and over again, because they saw the metrics suggested and that they were working. And lying in those ads over and over again and using rhetoric like you just used, saying this is boys playing girls sports. Well, what, first okay, of all, we're talking the, about five people in the what's entire the language country. language you would prefer? We're talking about trans girls playing, playing, being allowed to play with the people who are in their gender. And if you don't believe, you don't have to listen to me, listen okay. to the American Medical Association, the American Psychological so, Association. The, the, the American Medical Association. This is not, this is not about the issue. It's baffling to see the Democrat Party pushing policies that force girls to share locker rooms and restrooms with boys and allow men to compete in women's sports. This isn't progress. It's a blatant disregard for the safety, privacy, and rights of young women who deserve fair opportunities in sports and dignity in their own spaces. What happened to common sense and logic? Our Constitution was designed as a shield to protect everyone's rights, not a sword to selectively favor a few at the expense of others. Even Gretchen Whitmer, our nanny governor back in 2009, said it herself. When you use the Constitution as a weapon to take away rights from some and protect only the rights of a few, you jeopardize the rights of all of us. See, she believed that back then. But what's changed now? The Democratic Party needs to do some soul searching. You lost Elon Musk. You lost Joe Rogan and many others because your party went too radical. You are no longer the party of the people, but the party of the elites. But hey, don't change. That just means the Republicans will continue to be the party of the people and will continue to dominate every single election here in the near future.